Good evening, everyone. For clarity's sake, I would like to confirm everyone can hear me. Yes, we can. Thank you so much, Lisa. Once again, good evening, everyone. It's amazing being here once again. Um, so I can see that the attendance is quite low and for everyone here, I would plead with you to go on the group, inform the other students that today's session, <laughs> it's not something they want to miss because I've moderated this session with the same facilitator in the past and it was mind blowing. So please go, you know, you know that way, you knock, 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 like something is happening, please go do another reminder with your fellow students that they should come online right now. And we would give another four minutes for more persons to join in. I am your moderator for today, Lillian FOB. Thank you. Lillian FOB. Uh, I'm Lisa, Lillian, I didn't know Lillian was still with us. So Lillian, I thought you have abandoned us. Anyway, in welcome fact, everybody. <laughs> uh, even me, as I hear a voice, today, I was checking it now. I said, who sounds like Lillian? I didn't know. <laughs> Next, I heard uh, Lillian I phobia. I said, ah, which one is Lillian? Yeah. Meanwhile, um, I don't think, um, so I have new plans. Nobody should beg anybody to come to class. Nobody should. You understand? Mm? Maureen. Uh, is Maureen there? Maureen will never answer while we're in class. Was well, Maureen there? Yes, she is. Okay, Maureen, as of now, I've taken, I, I, I've taken it. Okay, don't talk, don't talk, just Good listen evening. to me. Good evening, Maureen. So don't talk, just listen to me. Maureen, take a screenshot of what, I've taken a screenshot of what is, there are 13 participants here, six admin. Whoever is missing, automatically minus 10. Minus 10 for everybody. I've said it, I'm ready to graduate. This set, I'm ready to graduate five people. So okay. minus 10 for everybody that is not in class. That does not involve two people that just joined the okay. class now. Minus 10 from everybody. I don't understand okay. about the 23rd module. We are still begging people to understand what democracy is. Uh, you see, well, later on, we have Buhari and say he said lazy youth and will be complaining. I uh, can't do this. Lisa, that minus 10, I must see it too. If I do not see the reflection on the, these things next week, we are preceding this week, which we are about to look into. I will minus 10 individually from whatever you give me. Okay, not a lady. Okay, then. Look forward to a great class. Um, I have to go. Um, Lillian doesn't want to talk to me. Lillian has gone undercover because she knows that I've mentioned her, her, her story. Anyway, Lillian, it's great to have you around. You are laughing. Who is laughing with you, Lillian? Yeah. Lillian, I don't know you again. I've deleted your name from my memory bank. Uh, anyway, great to have everybody here. I look forward to a great class. Um, facilitator is not yet in class. Camo is not yet in class. Can't see him yet. Okay, then, guys. Um, it is permission to leave. Have a lovely day, and I look forward to it. Okay. Oh, you guys will have a great class. Cheers. Bye, Eden.
Hello, Lisa. Please, I can't seem to find the facilitator in class yet. I'm Shalia. Oh, where is that? Okay, once again, everyone, good evening. And it's amazing being here again. Ooh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm really excited about this class, leadership more than the concept. And it's being facilitated by our able facilitator in the person of Mr. Kemo Bohang. Now I'll go through his profile whilst we wait for him to join the class. If at any point you can't hear me, please let me know. <coughs> Thank you. Mr. Kemo Bohang is a legislator in the region of Kanifin, the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the General Council and the advisor to the mayor on youth affairs. He is also the national youth leader of the United Democratic Party, the main opposition party of the Gambia. Kemo is a 2017 Yali Harrelsey Fellow and a 2019 Mandela Washington Fellow in the public management track at the University of Davis, California. Now, you, you can see that our facilitator for today is well grounded and has the experience and expertise. Now, sorry, I need to be sure. Okay, it's not yet here. So for today's class, please don't just focus or have that mindset of it's just leadership in the political arena. Whatever the facilitator will be teaching you today is something you can apply in the professional space, in any field of life, even in the family. So please don't limit yourselves to questions in the political space. Be diverse in the questions you'll be asking him based on what you will be hearing from him today concerning the concept of leadership. Uh, so I will check again to be sure that the facilitator has joined the class. Um, hi everyone. Okay, the facilitator is he will still join, but he's trying to settle down. He was on a trip, so we'll just give him some minutes to be able to join in. Yeah, thank okay. you all. But before then, um, we we'll make it interactive. Maybe if you have um things you want to say, yes. how far the course has been, you know, just let's have it interactive. This is. The second to the last class. Next week, you're just going to have a round of class with ED and then your graduation. So we'll make this an open class before the facilitator comes. So if you have something to say, you can just indicate and um, Lillian will unmute you and you can go ahead. Yes, thank you so much for that, Lisa. Absolutely. And in addition to what she said, you can also talk about your expectations. You can drop it in the chat or you say it, so when the facilitator comes on, we would let him know that these are some of the things you expect to learn from today's class, even though he already has a prepared slide, but then I'm very sure he will factor that when discussing with you. And now as the class has been, let's discuss about it. You've had several classes, so how has it been for you? What is something you would go out there to tell your friends, to tell your families, to tell your contacts on social media? What is something you will enlighten your fellow Nigeria? Like this class is very important. Having seen what happened in the 2023 election, it's like a, a very important training for you as a Nigerian, as a young person, and as a global citizen, I'm sure. We have people on this call. 
we have people on this call. What are we? We're not saying anything. Emeka Christian. Okay, so we have somebody hands up. Hello, Lade. That's good. Let me unmute. Please, you can unmute yourself. Thank you. Um, Lola, they should be able to speak. I've asked to unmute you. So, all right. So, it kept saying the host is allowing um me to be unmuted. So, I was waiting for it. Oh, um, okay. all right. So, so far, the class has been interesting and awesome. I remember um having to post about it initially when I joined. And um, yeah, and I had other people requesting for it. So I tell them to join or follow on the Instagram page and turn on the notification. So I know I also applied initially before and I can't remember which of the courts and I couldn't follow up to the hand. And uh, so then that was it. Then I remember I saw somebody's a friend's post about the graduation party or something like, hey, Jesus. This class that I did and I didn't follow it up. So I'll follow up on the Instagram page, turn on my notifications, and in case the next cohort is coming, I was going to join and follow through. So I must say it's been interesting so far. I've been able to get other people to join or follow up on the Instagram page just like I did. So um the classes has been awesome. Um and also I've had um opportunity to learn more. I um, that's why you're challenging me saying all these things that are teaching you guys, I going to apply it in real life because I was actually with somebody that holds a political office. Like, ah, I hope it's not only just when you're depending on better join and have real life experiences too. So I told him that yeah, this is uh, my own little way of learning before we get there. So when we get there, we are doing things the right way. And yeah, I was convinced about everything I said. So thanks to it did. Thanks to the management. Thanks to everyone that's been on the team. It's been interesting so far. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Alola Day. And um, I'll come to that. Let me quickly check if the facilitator is here. Okay, so he's yet to join. Now, for people that are just joining in, we're talking about your experience so far in this cohort, in the classes you've attended? What are your expectations from today's session? And Lola, they just told us how she was able to join in one of the cohorts, but couldn't finish to the end. And I'm happy, like Lola, I'm so happy that you'll be graduating with this cohort. And yeah, I'm also happy about your intention in joining this cohort, in going through this training very important because as young people if we decide that we want to get involved in politics or we even want to run for a particular position and then you don't have the knowledge or a good understanding of how these things work i'm very sure when you get in there you've been making lots of mistakes so that intention of yours it's a perfect one i know somebody who has been through a program such as this and after seeing the number of young persons that got elected in the 2023 election. She told me, I'm going to run in the 2027 election. I'm like, that's it, that's it. It's not just me talking from behind. Let us get into the system and make things right. Do we have anybody who wants to share their experience or even their expectations from today's class? Good evening, Lillian. So, Good evening. Um, Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Oh, Good evening. Uh, so as you as you've seen, uh, generally you've been away so long you do not even know my voice. Um. So um, good day, everyone. Um, I heard your facilitator is not in the room, so um, I'll just try to run across. Um, what exactly um, leadership is. 
and um, we'll try to discuss, you know, within the parameters which are available. Mm, first, I'm trying to. Who tried to mute me? Okay. Hello. Can everybody hear me? Yes, you do. We can hear you. Okay. So back to the class. Now just give me a second. I'm having to use my phone, so it's kind of a little funny. Uh, so everyone, good day. Everyone can hear me clearly, right? Yes, you did. Clear. Okay. I wanted to ask, is my video on? I can't tell. No. No, sir. Okay. Um, just give me a second. Let me get back to that. So it should be on now. So good day, everyone. It's a pleasure to um, try to facilitate this course, um, considering um, the facilitator is not here. So, um, he of course said he was en route. Um, the topic leadership is a very, very interesting topic. Um, for me, I don't yet think I'm a leader. Um, I will try to speak from what um, being in the process of being a leader is. So um, I would say a smart person once told me that leadership is another word for servitude. There's the general assumption in this part of the world that leadership confers you a monarchy. And it's so surprising that it's so surprising that that um, we always tend to we always tend to we always tend to look at it from the fact that we think that as leaders and it's it's shocking and uh, an example I always give was uh, my estate group in Abuja. How the chairman of the estate was a bad guy, and you think he was an appointed house of rep, and and you know his 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 mode of style of leadership was um, autocratic meaning he couldn't be, which is basically the basic um, African style of leadership when you're looking at it. And it's a conversation that, you know, a lot of us try to avoid or try to um, run away from. But the truth is, <clears throat> we spend quite a lot of time um, querying what leadership is. And I would say also, um, the followership has a problem too, because um, they too demand so much from their leaders. So even while leading the electoral college, which has been a privilege to lead it over its, its four years, I've had people complain about things that you know they naturally do not see the, the part of you know servitude which is being offered, and the fact that maybe this leader makes a lot of things possible, and people just tend to take that for granted. Um, like I defined earlier, leadership is servitude. As a leader, you must be able to serve. There's no great leader that has been good at leading that cannot have what well, hasn't been great at serving to first understand. Um, when you look at someone like Barack Obama, for example, um, you're talking of um, he galvanized quite a lot of people for democrat for the Democratic Party in the U.S. at a young age. Um, he was always, you know, there trying to, you know, ensure uh, grassroots, you know, pulling people together to the party, you know, ensuring that the the, the, the party had members, ensure, ensuring financial donations to the member, members were done. But when you even look at groups within the Electoral College, if we're going to take a general uh, um, picture of what is being done with the, within the Electoral College, I would say I see some assignments and I know that two or three people were not in that group. Assignments will look that way, and and so um it it would look that way. So it and give nothing. And this is not to say leaders who don't demand so much and give little. So the concept, the basic concept of leadership in Africa or Nigeria, as we're using as a clear, clear context, in Africa, uh, in Africa or, or Nigeria, is always wrapped around what is coming to me. 
whether this is going to go from a perspective of a follower or from the leader. The, what warps the situation on both sides is um, it's also hard for us to, uh, I need to say this, for us to say um, I'm a leader or I am this or I am that in Nigeria because we don't follow the basic concept. So everybody feels that, okay, because he's a leader, there are things I don't need to tell him because, oh, I don't need to do. Ah, he's the leader now. I'll just close my eye and let everything go as presumed. So um, what we're going to, since I'm doing this off the top of my head, we're going to try to first um, pinpoint the kind of leadership styles we have within governments. So um, first, be the auto be. I'm not going to use uh, um, see clearly. And they're the kind of leaders that I would say are anarchists. And those are the, they are also a prevalent type of leader. I will not say every type of leader is necessary for development of a nation or country or society, but you need to have a few sets of those. They're the anarchist leadership, which of course are those leaders that spell doom. You know some of them, they're on social media. I don't want to call, call names because it's a recorded YouTube. This way, central YouTube to Electoral college, I was going to release that called names. Well, there are those that keep telling you, ah, we have to bond the country. But no, we no go grieve. We no go grieve. We bond the country. Meanwhile, they're enjoying the dividends of that country more than you. Then they're telling you to bond the country. So if you bond the country, what are we going to hold on to? We are not like them that has, <coughs> excuse me, international access or has multiple access to, um, um, to um, other countries to be able to live there. So we're going to do something random. We'll make this more interactive while we're discussing this. So my next question now will be, okay, so since we're discussing leadership, what would you like to see in a leader? And let's have, you know, just, you know, a few people uh, will just talk so that this is uh, fully uh, an active class. So what would you like to see in a leader? And this is a question I'd like to throw up onto the room. So anybody can just, you know, put up their mic and then, you know, I, I won't be able to read chats. I'm using my phone, so it's kind of stressful to use chats. To, it's not that I can't read chats, but multiple notifications are coming and I don't want to pay attention to them. So um, what would you want to see in a leader? Just one thing, no need to give elaborate massively. Just I would like to see a leader that does this, this, this. Then we'll now talk about why that is deficient in leadership in Nigeria and why um, um, those that even have given it have take, gotten no response. So I'm seeing um, Olulesi's hand up, Samuel Odumakaya up. Uh, Lillian, can you help me unmute um, Samuel Od Odukomaya? Sorry. I've, I've unmuted already. Okay, well, great to have you here. Good evening. This is Olusesi, not Samuel. Okay, Olusesi, sorry. Okay, Olusesi. Right. All right. Simply, <clears throat> very in a nutshell, um, service to the lead. Service to the lead. Service to the lead. Okay. Um, you know that to deliver service to to the lead, um, the lead, those who are led must agree to be led. Do you understand that? That's, that's correct. It's easy to say. It's very easy to say, but um, most of the time, not the. It's not the the outcome. So I'll give you an example when we're dealing with, let's say, um, let's say your let's say your alma mater, your school, secondary school group, those that lead, uh, I'm sure you'll be like, it wasn't even a prefect when we we're in school. What was wrong with this guy? Why what, what the hell is wrong with this guy? What was he talking on this WhatsApp group? That's a situation that will cause true or false. That's true. Yeah, so we have a problem, especially when the leaders are trying to provide service for us and we feel a sense of um, equality with those leaders, forgetting that they have been placed in a leadership position, we'll say, ah, come on, in, in, in school, this guy was not a true right. guy. And now I want to tell me what they go. It happens now. It's a common situation with, with um, what goes on. But a, a heavy requisite, 
um, service to those who you lead is most paramount in leadership. So thank you very much, Ulesi. I would go to Samuel right now. Um, Samuel. Yeah, good, um, good evening, sir. Um, good evening. Good yeah, in my own opinion. Well, I've not been said by the King of England, so I don't understand the sub for my name, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so in my own opinion, I think what I would love to see in a leader is someone that is ready to build the human capacity of his followers, someone who is ready to develop um, the potential of his followers to be who they are meant to be, not someone that will be intimidated by the rising or uh, the, the, the skills or the potentials that um, he can find in his followers, who is ready to support and let them express themselves. Thank you very much. That, that is a great point. You know, someone that's ready to build the human capacity. But I'll tell you something about Nigerians. I'm going to say, well, I want you to or use myself. I want you to be my mentor. Our idea of being a mentor or being someone that leads is when I'm getting married, you could drop one million. When uh, I pay my house rent, you pay for it. Do you understand? We seem to have a problem with people building human capacity for us. Rather, we rather prefer them to build capacity. So I'm not saying your point is wrong, but I'm just exposing you know, the, the ends and you know, the both sides of the equation. You know, one of the key things that happens in Nigeria is that the, the, the electorate or the citizens assume they have so we're just engaging and you know, opening both sides of the conversation. Are you there? Okay, seems to be gone. Okay, so I know there's Abasi Ekeme first before Lim Joshua. Lillian, are you there? Yes, I'm trying to unmute them. You are trying? Okay. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Abbas. Abbas, okay, man. Oh, I can't call the Abbas here. I'll call it for you, okay, Abbas, okay, man. All right. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Um, you have a good leader. What I, I, I believe a good leader should possess is, um, number one, the spirit of leadership. Yes. It's what we call the spirit of leadership. And um, it entails not giving up, you know, not giving up, and then the um, the agility to encourage others, you know, the ability to um, build a team spirit, a winning kind of spirit, a positive mindset. That's what the spirit of leadership entails in a leader. It, it's going to build success and not failures. And then secondly, I think I'm highlighting three things I want. Secondly is um, transparency, integrity, which cut across transparency. A man of integrity is a transparent man. A leader that um, lead um, the followers and then he's, he's transparent in his dealings that has to cut across finances, you know, and others. That's one quality of a good leader. And thirdly, a leader that is not selfish, Yes, a leader that is um, um, a selfless, that offers selfless services, a, 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 a servant leader, kind of. Yeah, that's, that, those are my look out for a leader. Thank you very much. Abbas, a very great point. I think you pointed out spirit of leadership, uh, integrity, and then a leader that is selfless, as in... But, you know, when we come up with, with these things, the question you're going to ask is that the people that you're leading... So, Abasi, I'm going to ask you. Abasi, if... Okay, I'm here. Uh -huh. If you decided to run for office today, um, if you went to your friends, who would pay for that? If I went with my friends... Yes, who will pay for lunch? Okay, uh, I decided to run for office. Well, um, I would pay. At, at the first instance, I would pay. 
and then um, okay. yeah, okay. Hold. Okay, hold, hold at that point. You've answered me. I'll go to the next point. Now, if uh, if um, you tell people, uh, let's say you are elected, and you tell people that you have an overbloated state service. Aquaibom, I believe from Aquaibom from your name. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, we have a set uh, civil service, and you're going to fire have the civil service and of your friends. Will those friends like you? That I want to do what fire off civil service. I didn't get that point. Yes, yeah. service because they are mostly ghost workers. Will and six of your friends are ghost workers. Will your friends like you? Well, um, first of all, no. they won't. Let me go straight to the point. They won't. Okay, beautiful. It's not, I'm pointing out, so you see, we've knocked out selfish. We've knocked out uh, integrity right now. And then next, the other one you mentioned was uh, more what? Um, selfish, integrity, spirit, spirit of leader. Of yes. Beautiful. Now, now, if I came to you as leader of the Electoral College and told you that you failed this class because you didn't attend classes as you were supposed to, attend, would you fight me over it? But I will fight you over it. Yes. Yeah. If 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 I am guilty, uh, as um as you said, I wouldn't fight, but I would try to plead for mercy. That the spirit of leadership states the leader um, with heart. That means you shouldn't, it's not that you can't argue, you can argue, but you should be convicted that I must have done due diligence before I said that to you. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And then I will plead, instead of me trying to say you are a bad person, I will, I will, I will accept um, my fault and then I will plead for mercy. Beautiful. Thank you very much. I was just showing you opposite ends on followership and leadership. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll Farid, I can say more. Let me not show how on your I am. Farid, um, can yes, you? Sir. Okay, Farid, you're here. How's everything? Fine. So, yes, a leader, I would want a leader that is very easily accessible. What I mean by this is, take for example, I live in Lagos, in Lagos Island, in mainland local government, and I would have liked to have a local government chairman that is very easily accessible that kind of comes out to you know speak and i don't i don't want to waste time but i hope you get what i'm saying that, I get that what... you can easily get access to all right i'm going to ask you a question did you vote during local government elections no i didn't i already know your answer even if you didn't tell me i can averagely pinpoint your answer Lagos State accounted for less than 6% of its voting population in LG elections in Lagos. Now, if you did not vote, it means that you virtually voted and accepted the status quo. So you accepted a leader that was inaccessible preceding the election. Are you aware of that? Yes, I'm aware. So do you hold that responsibility that you are part of the reason your local government chairman does not talk to you. Oh, I'm fully, like, I hold full responsibility. That's exactly why I'm here, because that's why I started this journey of learning the whole process. Farid, I'll, Farid, I'll tell you today, the way you simply accepted what I just told you, Farid, you make a very good leader. That I'll tell you. Anyway. Because one of the greatest, one of the greatest <clears throat> gifts of a leader is the ability to accept when they are wrong or when they didn't see the game fully. And Farid, you accepted that, and that is a rare, that is very rare with leaders. I don't even believe I accept when I'm wrong. <laughs> so I told you I'm not a leader yet. So thank you very much, Farid. Uh, that was great. All right. um, thank you very much. Okay, then. Victor Balogun, could we try with Victor Balogun? Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening, Victor. Yes, thank you. Uh, no, this is no, this is okay. <laughs> this is Lim Joshua. Joshua, yeah, I didn't first thing to tell you. Okay, Lim Joshua. Okay. All right, can I speak then? Yes, go ahead. All right, thank you. 
um, what I would like to see in a leader, I would um, like to see someone that will be, will be able to craft out good um, aims he hopes to um, accomplish for the people and then be so accountable to be able to do at least at least half of those. That's just what I would like to see in a leader right now in Nigeria, especially. Based on your understanding of governance, do you think that uniformity of the Nigerian green market and bank rates are good? Sorry, sir, can you, can you please come again? Do you believe that uniformity of bank rates, that's dollar rates of the black market and then um, the official um, the banks, the uniformity of, of the current, uh, of the value of the Naira, the uniformity of it, do you think it is good for us or dollar has gone up and we're in problem? Just answer um, yes or no. I really, I have to say, I don't know what you mean. Okay. The policy, a new policy was brought out which unifies dollar rates. You, you buy dollar now. Yes, um, Directly or indirectly. So now bank rates and uh, black market rates are the same. So nobody's going to get dollar for 430 naira, whatever amounts they're selling to bank on banks. And now, is it a good idea or is it a bad idea? Well, um, from the obvious, I would think it's a good idea because um, nobody's, I think nobody's going to make more profit than the other person. So I would say yes. On the but, surface, yes. Yeah, not on the surface, actually. In the long run, it's a smart idea. Eighty percent of the time, when good policies are even passed by governors, because of our disbelief culture in Nigeria of leadership, there has that party into power. Our direct response to policies being that they are not good. So part of it. A leader might have good aims. It doesn't mean he's a good leader, but he might have some good policies. He might have some good policies. Our inability to understand it because of our bias puts the leader in it. So it's one for the leader to drop good policies. Two, the electorate in which he is in. That's Thank you very much. Yeah, we can go to Victor Balogun now. <clears throat> Hello, Victor. Hello, Victor. Lillian, is there a reason Victor is... I he's don't know, he's on mute. I think it's his network because he's on mute. I don't know why he's not speaking. Oh. Okay, so um, it's clear, uh, facilitator is not yet here. And I'm caught up quite a few things so it was great having this conversation with you guys um what i think i'll do so that this class is not a loss is i will ask each political party to write its concept of what it thinks leadership should be and then what it thinks followership should, should be lillian for before we go off so my question is what should leadership be and what should followership be um, Rufai, Rufai is on the call. Rufai is saying he wants to make a statement. Um, Lillian, could you help unmute Rufai? Okay. Rufai, are you there? Rufai, yeah. put your hand up so that you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Can be found. I'm here. Okay, Rufai. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, Rafai. Yeah. Uh, so uh, to me, I think uh, I would say leadership should be a person who understands that the position 
he is holding is not right. It's not his right by nature, but as a privilege to show that the masses, when the masses truly needs, he should be ready to not be biased in making a decision that satisfies, that does not satisfy both the masses and the leader themselves. I think it should be that the leader is supposed to be a person who truly understands that whatever decision I'm going to make, it should be that it favors both the masses and us, the leaders as well. So that is my take on leadership. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Rufai. Um, uh, you're right. Um, decisions shouldn't be made um, based on um, elite, 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 an elite perspective, you know, putting the masses into problems. So decisions should not be make, made, but a holistic view of what the country is and what the country is. Um, so, guys, thank you. I just said, let me spend a quick 30 minutes with you guys on Chartered on, and then run over leadership. Um, thank, I've you given an, uh, thank you very much. So, I, I've given an assignment, and um, I would like the assignment submitted on Tuesday, the parties on Tuesday. Um, I think you got an early off day today. So, thank you, everyone, for your time. Lillian, thank you for putting this together. Well done, Lillian, Chalia, and the other admin, Tukumbo, who I can see, another admin that present. Thank you, everyone, and let's have a great day. Cheers, and have a great week ahead. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank thank you, you so much. Yeah, so before Edie leaves the call, please, can we show our appreciation for Edie for stepping uh, in? <laughs> yes, yeah, please, please unmute and clap at least so you use the emojis. Let's appreciate Edie for stepping in. Thank you. Okay, then. Thank you, everyone. Okay, then, everyone. Um, Lillian, thanks. Um, you guys take care. Um, have a great week ahead. Your presidential elections are coming up. I'd really love to see what we have upstairs, uh, up in, uh, ahead. Cheers, everyone. Do have a lovely day. Lillian, take care. Uh, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks very much.